When you think of Volvo, the first image that comes to mind are safe cars. But did you know that the brand also has a deep racing heritage? You see, Volvo used to compete in touring car championships back in the 80s and the 90s. And that racing DNA made its way down to its mainstream offerings, such as this SUV right here. Now, this is the Volvo XC40 T5 all-wheel drive R design, and in this video, we will find out more about this SUV. Let's do this. Hello guys, I'm Reagan and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I invite you to click that subscribe button for your regular dose of Philippine automotive content. If you're my subscriber already, well sit back, relax, click that like button and enjoy the show. Also special thanks to Volvo Cars Philippines for lending me the XC40 to do this review. Now guys, before we begin, if you find this video helpful, clicking that super thanks button will also be highly appreciated. The XC40 we have here is the subcompact SUV offering from the premium luxury Swedish car brand. Now we are lucky that the sole variant that we get here in the Philippines is this XC40 T5 R design with all-wheel drive. Priced at 3,590,000 Philippine pesos, I would consider it to be a, a steal uh, given that this XC40 is proudly made in Sweden. Volvos were originally known for conservative cars, and though the XC40 here has a bit of a conservative air to it, well, the front fascia is firmly set in the 21st century. You see, the Volvo car brand here has been retained, but it's set in the middle of a front grille that looks sportier because of its uh, glossy piano black finish right there. Now, I also like the shape of the fully adaptive LED headlights here. And if you'll notice, if you look inside the headlight housing, we have a pair of LED DRLs that are shaped like Thor's hammer. Now, since we have two of these LED DRLs, does that mean that this one here on the driver's side is Mjolnir, while the one on the passenger side is Stormbreaker? Yeah. Possibly. <laughs> anyway, guys, uh, that's what I love about Volvo cars. You see, they retain the look and identity of a Volvo vehicle, but at the same time, they throw in some futuristic styling cues here that still pay an homage to their Swedish heritage. The side profile of the XC40 has a different approach from the larger XC60 and XC90 uh, because this XC40 here is based off the CMA platform. Now, if you're wondering what the CMA platform is, well, it's a vehicle platform that is shared with Link & Co. And it's meant to give the XC40 here a sportier and more youthful approach. Now, as it is, guys, well, the XC40 does have a, a sportier and youthful design here, uh, mainly because of the blacked-out roof and a pillars, as well as the blacked-out power-folding side mirrors with LED turn signals. Now, as for the wheels and tires of the XC40, well, it rides on 19 inches that are wrapped in 50 series tires. Now, behind those wheels, well, we do get premium mechanical bits as expected from a premium European car brand. It gets four-wheel disc brakes on all four corners, and for the suspension, it rides on MacPherson's up front and an independent multi-link rear suspension at the back. Now, as for the ground clearance, guys, the XC40 has a healthy ground clearance of 211 millimeters, 
and in case you you decide that you need to cross a river <laughs> with your Volvo XC40 well the wading depth is 450 millimeters which if you think about it it's not really so bad for a premium SUV if the front fascia of the XC40 is uniquely Volvo then the same can be said about the rear end you see, I love the LED taillight design of these uh, Volvo SUVs because they are just so uniquely Volvo. Now, the thing is, guys, this XC40 is an R design. So I kind of expected to see a pair of exhaust pipes here on the rear bumper. But unfortunately, that's not really the case. Now, as for the cargo space, when you pop open the smart power lift gate here, as you can see, uh, the XC40 will give back 20.7 cubic feet of cargo capacity, which is good enough for one and two, uh, well, a couple of medium-sized luggage, plus some more smaller items on top of the luggage. Now, if you need more space than 20.7 uh, cubic feet, well, the back seats can be folded to further expand the cargo capacity to 57.5 cubic feet. Of, well of space there are two petrol engines available for the Volvo XC40 and thankfully we got the more potent engine and drivetrain here you see what we have here is a two liter four-cylinder turbocharged gasoline motor that pumps out 247 horsepower and 350 Newton meters of torque now, all of that power can be sent to all four wheels via an eight-speed automatic transmission. Now, that potent engine and drivetrain means that this XC40 T5 all-wheel drive can sprint from 0 to 100 kph in as quick as 6.5 seconds, all the way up to a top speed of 230 kilometers per hour. Now, despite that uh, that potent engine and that performance guys well the xc40 still managed to to well manage its fuel economy quite well you see on city drives as long as you're on eco drive mode uh, the xc40 returned to me nine kilometers per liter and on a highway run on eco mode and with a very light foot you can still reach 16.6 .6 kilometers per liter now that's not so bad considering that this is a performance SUV with an all-wheel drive system. The XC40's cabin is minimalist, sporty, and technologically advanced. Now some people might say that it's too technologically advanced because of the infotainment system right here. Now, this is hardly an infotainment system anymore, guys, but really more of a vehicle command center. You see, it has a learning curve to it, and you will be well served to take a few minutes to just go through the owner's manual in order to operate this thing. Now, luckily, the owner's manual is found here in this, uh, in this vehicle command center. Now, this is a 9-inch vertically oriented uh, touchscreen infotainment system that comes with all of the bells and whistles and it also powers a Harman Kardon speaker sound system. Now, this also has Apple CarPlay and Android Auto guys and we also have the image of a 360-degree view camera and it also has like a parallel parking assist, perpendicular parking assist, and even the climate control system is baked into this vehicle command center. Now, some people might not like that, guys, but as I said, this is a technologically advanced system right here. Now, other, um, other like, features that can be found in this vehicle command center include all of the controls for your safety bits. Now, guys, <laughs> this is a Volvo. So, Volvos are known for their safety features. So, are you ready, guys? Because I'm going to flash them all on your screen. <laughs> now, as you're seeing on your screen, guys, this XC40 is equipped with all of the safety features and the driver assist aids and the idiot proofing uh, that you would need to make sure that this vehicle is safe at all times uh, regardless of the conditions now guys uh, aside from that we also have other niceties here uh, like a wireless charging pad and we also have an electronic park brake with an auto hold feature 
and a couple of cup holders which I will now subject to my 600 ml clean canteen test. As you can see guys, yep, the XC40 is a global model. So yes, it has large enough cup holders to pass on my, my clean canteen test. Now as for the cabin materials found here guys, well, as expected from a premium European uh, SUV, well, we do get premium cabin materials here. Now, the seats are fantastic. I mean, I love the seats here, guys. We have uh, power adjustable leather wrap seats here with some new buck leather found in the middle of the seats. And uh, the seats themselves are designed to be like sport buckets already. So as such, we don't really get like uh, heat and ventilation here. But that, my friends, is not really a big issue. Uh, the comfort of these seats and the support is is superb guys it's it's phenomenal now we also have a leather wrap steering wheel here that adjusts for tilt and telescoping see that's uh well it's expected from a premium european suv and i also love the digital instrument gauge cluster of this xc40 you see you can change the design of this uh, uh, gauge cluster here and it also has the image of the navigation map right there in the center of the gauges now, as for the cabin materials itself, guys, well, as I said, we are surrounded by soft touch materials. We get some nice leather wrappings on your door cards, although we do get some plastic bits here and there, uh, some soft touch plastics on the top of the dashboard and some on the middle dashboard here, guys. So, yes, uh, it's a good um, functional Scandinavian uh, mix of materials here although it's not as premium feeling as the cabin of let's say the XC60 or the XC90. The back seat of the XC40 is understandably snug because this is still a subcompact SUV. It's best to limit it to just two people here at the back for maximum comfort for all of your passengers. Well, you can put a third person here in the middle, although it won't be the most ideal sitting position because there is a pretty tall center tunnel there for the all-wheel drive system. Now, having said that, guys, we're also lucky that we have a large panoramic sunroof here, which helps to improve on the feeling of space here at the back. Now, in, in terms of uh, absolute space, guys, I'm five foot six, and th this is my driving position here, and I still get around five inches of knee room, so that's pretty good, and I also have around four inches of headroom. Now, as for the amenities, well, we do get a decent set of amenities here. We have a pair of rear AC vents, a pair of USB-C charge ports right there at the bottom, and of course, we have a center armrest with a couple of cup holders. Most people would expect that you know, Volvos would uh, drive like boring cars, but that, my friends, is so far from the truth. Uh, you see, we used to own a 1996 uh, Volvo 850, and that, my friends, has got to be one of the best cars that I've driven in my teenage years. You see, Volvo has always had that touring car motorsports heritage, uh, and that all of that racing experience, well, it trickled down into the DNA of the cars that they make. So, yeah, you know, the, uh, the Volvos can be playful, even if, yeah, even if they don't look like it. Now, this XC40 all-wheel drive R design, what well, this XC40 T5 all-wheel drive R design, is playful, it's nimble, it's agile, uh, heck, it doesn't even feel like it's an SUV. Uh, it drives more like a lifted station wagon uh, than a crossover an SUV. And guys, I love how, how urgent uh, the response of this uh, vehicle is when you put the throttle down. I mean, whoa, see? Woo! Look at that. Once you step on that throttle, you know, this XC40 just goes and goes. And guys, I'm just talking in comfort mode. 
<laughs> which is the normal mode of this vehicle. <laughs> if you pop it into sport mode, and I take my word for it, I didn't even have to pop it into sport mode uh, during the entire time that I drove this. Uh, I only popped it into sport mode just to test it out. And by golly, yeah, it's gonna scare you. <laughs> In sport mode, it will really scare you guys because uh, even if it's just 247 horsepower, my goodness, yeah, this XC40 T5 <laughs> all-wheel drive R design uh, feels like you're driving a car with like 400 horses. I mean, it is that urgent. And that's what I love about this XC40 because it just, uh, it feels like you're driving a vehicle that is much, much more powerful than what the numbers would suggest. One observation though that I've had with this XC40 is, well, the, the way the suspension has been tuned. You see, we do have a nimble and sporty ride here, so handling is not what you'd expect from a crossover an SUV. In fact, it, it holds on to the corners like it's riding on rails. But guys, that kind of suspension tuning also comes with, uh, of course, a compromise. You see, the, uh, the ride quality of this XC40 is not something that you'd expect from, let's say, from a premium luxury SUV. I mean, if you're looking for a, for a ride that's, that's like you're, you're driving over a bed of clouds, it's not gonna happen. Uh, the XC40 doesn't give you that. You see, the suspension is a little bit stiffer uh, than expected, uh, which is uh, due to two things. Number one, well, we do have an all-wheel drive SUV system here, so yes, the suspension should be able to handle rougher terrain. And number two, well, we also have a sport-tuned suspension here in order to effectively put down all of that 247 horses uh, on the road. So, of course, there's going to be a compromise there, guys. But I'm not saying that it's a rough ride. Uh, in Tagalog, I'm not saying it's matagtag. It's not. Uh, in fact, maybe just because it's a Volvo, uh, that you'd expect that it, the ride would be, would be softer. Uh, but the XC40 has that, um, I would say it's a good balance of sportiness and uh, comfort uh, when it comes to its suspension. The good news though is, well, NVH is what you would expect from a premium vehicle. See, road noise has been minimized here and, uh, well, road imperfections are absorbed quite well. So, it's only when you go through some really, like, uneven roads or rough roads, like for example, EDSA, uh, that you would feel uh, the, the stiffness of the suspension. But other than that, guys, well, the NVH we're on the highway now, I'm talking to you, but yeah, none of the road noise is coming into this cabin. So yeah, NVH is what you'd expect from a premium vehicle. Overall guys, when you have a vehicle that has 247 horses and all-wheel drive in a relatively lightweight SUV, then you can really expect delicious acceleration and performance. You see guys, I love the 8-speed transmission of this thing. I love the tuning of it. I love the sport mode. Uh, heck, <laughs> as I said, even in comfort mode, it's perfectly serviceable for day-to-day -day use. Now, we are quite lucky that we're getting the 2-liter 4-cylinder engine option here in the Philippines. And, well, it is paired with that all-wheel drive system. So that makes this Volvo XC40 T5 all-wheel drive R design a great go-anywhere Reagan's Rides companion. And it gets a thumbs up from me. The Volvo XC40 T5 all-wheel drive R design may be considered as the ultimate sleeper machine. You see, Volvos have a reputation here in the Philippines as being safe and conservative vehicles, but there is nothing conservative about the driving performance of this SUV. You see, it's a fun and playful car and it has the power to back it up. So when you do decide to have fun and you decide to throw Thor's hammer down, well guys, you also have that assurance 
that the Volvo XC40 has all of the safety technologies in place to keep you safe and sound. <laughs> Thanks for watching.